you ever wondered, is witchcraft real or is it a mere fabrication of the mind? The enigma of witchcraft has been a subject of intrigue, debate and often fear for centuries. Its roots are deeply entrenched in the annals of history, with evidence of practices that can be classified as witchcraft dating back to ancient civilizations. From the shamanic rituals of the indigenous people to the mystical rites of the Celts, one can trace back the existence of witchcraft to the dawn of humanity itself. Now you may ask, why consider these ancient practices as evidence of real witchcraft? Well, it's because the essence of witchcraft lies in the manipulation of natural forces to bring about desired outcomes. Be it through the use of herbs, chants or rituals, these ancient practices were aimed at influencing the course of events much like what we associate with witchcraft today. Moving on to the second reason, the ubiquity of witchcraft in various cultures worldwide. From the Wiccan traditions of Western Europe to the voodoo practices of Africa and the Caribbean, witchcraft has found a place in almost every culture across the globe. It's not a mere coincidence that such diverse cultures, separated by vast oceans and mountains, share striking similarities in their belief in the power of witchcraft. Even in modern societies, witchcraft continues to hold sway, albeit under different names and forms. From the New Age movement's focus on crystals and energy healing, to the widespread belief in the evil eye in the Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cultures, elements of witchcraft are all around us. To dismiss witchcraft as a figment of the imagination is to overlook the profound impact it has had and continues to have on human societies across the globe. The existence of witchcraft is not just a tale from the past, but a global phenomenon that transcends cultural boundaries. Belief is a powerful tool, wouldn't you agree? One of the most compelling reasons why witchcraft holds sway in many societies lies within our third reason, the power of belief in manifesting reality. Human minds have an uncanny knack for creating what we focus on. This power of concentration of belief is a cornerstone in witchcraft. Witches harness this power channeling their energies to bring about desired outcomes. Now let's delve into the fourth reason, the psychological effects of witchcraft practices. Witchcraft isn't just about spells and potions, it's also a psychological journey. The rituals, the meditation, the focus on intentions, all these elements can profoundly affect one's mental state. They foster a sense of control, empowerment and connection to the universe. They can provide comfort, solace and even healing. Indeed, the power of belief can shape our reality and influence our mental state. Did you know that science has its own take on witchcraft? Well, it does, and it's fascinating. Let's delve into the fifth and sixth reasons why witchcraft is real through the lens of science. Firstly, we have the scientific explanation of witchcraft through plant-based hallucinogens. Throughout history, there are countless tales of witches concocting potions and brews using a variety of plants. But these weren't just any plants. Many of these plants, like belladonna and mandrake, contain powerful hallucinogenic properties. When ingested, they can cause vivid hallucinations, altered states of consciousness, and even out-of-body experiences. It's no wonder, then, that those who consume these concoctions believe they were experiencing magic. From a modern scientific perspective, these experiences can be explained as the effects of these potent, mind-altering substances. Now, on to our sixth reason, the placebo effect. The placebo effect is a well-documented phenomenon in the field of medicine, where a patient experiences a perceived improvement in their condition due to their belief in the treatment, rather than the treatment itself. This psychological effect is powerful, and it's not hard to see how it could play a role in witchcraft. Imagine a witch doctor or a shaman administering a potion or a charm, promising it will heal or bring good fortune. If the person receiving this truly believes in the power of this charm or potion, they might actually experience positive effects, not because of any inherent magical properties, but because of their own belief. This is the power of the placebo effect, and it's a compelling scientific explanation for some aspects of witchcraft. So there you have it. From mind-altering plants to the power of belief, Science offers some intriguing explanations for the phenomena often attributed to witchcraft. It's a reminder that the world is not always as it seems, and that sometimes the line between magic and science is finer than we might think. Even science lends credibility to the existence of witchcraft, wouldn't you say? 
What about the dark side of witchcraft? Does it truly exist? In our exploration of witchcraft, we cannot ignore its darker aspects, which have been both feared and revered throughout history. Let us delve into the seventh and eighth reasons that suggest the reality of witchcraft, the evidence of dark magic in historical records, and the modern practice of black magic. The historical records are replete with references to dark magic, a testament to its pervasive influence. Ancient texts and archaeological findings from different cultures bear witness to this. From the Babylonian clay tablets inscribed with curses, to the Greek magical papyri filled with spells and rituals, the evidence is compelling. Even the Bible, a cornerstone of Western culture, mentions witchcraft and sorcery multiple times, often in a negative context. The Salem witch trials of the late 17th century are a stark example of the fear and hysteria that dark magic can incite. This grim chapter in history saw 20 people executed on charges of witchcraft, their supposed powers deemed a serious threat to society. The trials themselves were a manifestation of the dark side of belief, where fear of the unknown led to devastating consequences. Fast forward to the present day, and the practice of black magic continues, albeit under different guises. Some may argue that the modern interpretation of dark magic is far removed from its historical origins, yet the fundamental principles remain the same. It is a practice that seeks to manipulate energies and forces for personal gain, often at the expense of others. This modern manifestation of dark magic, whether real or imagined, serves as an important reminder of the potential dangers of unchecked power and the human capacity for harm. So, does the dark side of witchcraft truly exist? The historical evidence and ongoing practices suggest that it does, at least in the minds and actions of those who believe in it. The dark side of witchcraft, as unsettling as it may be, adds another layer of depth to its existence. In our modern world, does witchcraft still hold a place? You may be surprised to learn that it indeed does. The ninth reason we're exploring today is the rise of neo-paganism and Wicca. These belief systems, heavily influenced by pre-Christian religious practices and a focus on nature, have seen a resurgence in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. They offer a spiritual pathway that embraces witchcraft as a means of connecting with the natural world and the divine. Our tenth reason is the undeniable influence of witchcraft in popular culture. From Harry Potter to Sabrina the Teenage Witch and the countless books, movies and television shows in between, witchcraft is a recurring theme that captivates audiences. These portrayals often blend fantasy with elements of real-world witchcraft practices, further fueling interest in the subject. So, even in today's world, witchcraft continues to hold sway. It evolves and adapts, finding its place in our societies and imaginations, proving its lasting relevance and reality. Did you know there's a thriving community of witches in the world today? Let's dive into our 11th reason, the existence of both online and offline witchcraft communities. These communities are not hidden, they are out there in the open, and they are growing. From online forums, social media groups, to real-life covens and gatherings, the witchcraft community is alive and well, and it's not just confined to the shadows of society. These communities are places for practitioners to share their experiences, learn from each other, and further their craft. Now, on to our twelfth reason, the commercialization of witchcraft. Witchcraft has moved into the mainstream, being commercialized in books, movies, and even in the form of products like crystals, tarot cards, and spell kits. This commercialization has brought witchcraft into the limelight, making it more accepted and less taboo. The thriving witchcraft community and its commercialization further cement its place in our world. What about the unexplained phenomena often associated with witchcraft? Let's delve into our thirteenth reason. History is rife with accounts of unexplained phenomena that are attributed to witchcraft. Tales of sudden weather changes, healing of incurable diseases, and objects moving without any physical force have often been associated with the influence of witches. Our fourteenth reason is the power of spells. Spells and incantations, often dismissed as mere words, have been known to bring about changes that defy logical explanation. The impact of these spells, whether it's in the form of love, luck, or protection, has been palpable for those who've experienced it. 
Lastly, our 15th reason is the personal experiences of people. There are countless individuals who swear by their experiences with witchcraft, recounting stories that are too real to dismiss as mere coincidences or figments of imagination. Unexplained phenomena, the tangible effects of spells and personal experiences add more weight to the reality of witchcraft 